Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Page Visibility API in JavaScript. Okay, so uh, this is going to allow you to detect um, whenever your page enters a hidden or visible state. So essentially, you're able to tell um, whether or not your users have switched tabs or minimized their window. Now obviously this is quite generic, so you can basically uh, take this API and use it um, to whatever means you want to. Um, a few examples online have been doing things like pausing video or music when the user switches tabs um, or even uh, doing things like saving resources, maybe stopping resource intensive tasks uh, when the page isn't being used or is not visible um, and basically just uh, Causing any sort of automatic actions um, which may be taken place, of course, whenever the page is hidden. So uh, you can do what you want with this. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use it. So let's go inside uh, the text editor right here and begin inside the JavaScript. So uh, the way it's going to work is uh, we're going to be adding an event listener to the document object. So we can say right here document.addEventListener. Okay. And we can pass through here um, the event which is called uh, visibility change. Okay, just like that. And then, of course, as usual, provide our callback function or our listener. Okay, and now essentially, whenever the visibility uh, changes um, uh, on the web page, so hidden or visible, um, this function is going to run. So, with that being said, let's say document.title is equal to and then document uh, dot visibility state okay so uh, essentially we're just going to be setting uh, the title of the web page to be the value of the visibility state property so this visibility state property is going to have one of two values it's going to have hidden or visible now there are two more uh, values um, but I'm not going to be going over that in this video because they are apparently uh, non-standard or at least not supported in uh, most browsers. So we're going to be sticking to the two main ones and then it's going to be hidden and visible. Okay. Now we can also say console.log and then document.visibilityState just like this. Okay. And now let's save this right here and then refresh the page. And now I'm going to go to a new tab right here and we can see up the top here we get hidden. Okay, so that's our visibility state currently. Like I said, it can be hidden or visible. And we can see right there that the function has executed twice. So, of course, um, it executed one time for uh, leaving the page and once more when we come back. So now we have a total of four in the console um, right there. Now, I want to show you also, if I minimize this window and then come back, you notice now we get one more set hidden and visible so we can see it works even when the user has minimized their browser window. So obviously uh, you can use this like I said uh, for whatever purpose you need to. I do want to show you one more thing and that is going to be uh, a different method of finding out if they have uh, you know, uh, set the state to be hidden or visible and that is going to be through uh, the hidden uh, property. Okay, so we can just say here console.log uh, document.hidden just like that and essentially you're going to have a true or false value which tells you obviously if it's hidden, true, if it's uh, not hidden, false. Let's save this and uh, try again, refresh, go in this tab, come back, we get true and we get false, essentially the exact same thing as last time, let's minimize, come back and the exact same result. So that is how to use the page visibility API in JavaScript. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.